Tell the truth in love. Um, you know, I, uh, sometimes there's a temptation, I think, to take technology, to take great lighting, to take great video and all of that, and to be cool. And we face this. I mean, I'm in Las Vegas, right? I, our competition, if you want to talk about being cool, is the Las Vegas Boulevard, you know? Our competition are some of the biggest shows that tour the world. Our competition is, you know, multi, the multi-billion dollar Las Vegas Strip. There's no way you compete with that. There's no way you can compete with that. But one of the things that we've discovered is that we don't need to compete with that. We don't need to try to be cool. We don't need to try to be original. We don't need to try to be creative. All we need to focus on is taking technology and telling the truth. The truth about God, the truth about our life, the truth about his word. I love what C.S. Lewis says, and this is is worth coming today right here. C.S. Lewis says this. I'm paraphrasing him. But he says, whether it's in literature or in art, he says, everybody who tries to be original fails. He says, if you're trying to be original, you're going to fail. If you're trying to be creative, you're going to fail. He says, but if you forget trying to be original and you focus on telling the truth through your experience, Lewis says, nine times out of ten, you will be original because you focused on telling the truth. Does that make sense? You focus on telling, and we had to shift our ministries and our philosophies around this idea, but we got to tell the truth, the truth of the Bible, the truth of God's word. We got to communicate it in a way to people, and we got to do it through the stories God's writing in our own lives. And when we began to focus on that, when we moved the focus from trying to be cool or trying to be creative or trying to be this, and we said, you know what, we just want to be faithful before God, and we want to tell the story of the Bible in a way that's powerful for people. I believe our ministry just began to take off and blossom and grow out of that experience. John chapter 4, verse 25, as Jesus is talking to this woman at the well, the woman finally says this. She says, I know the Messiah is coming, the one who is called Christ. And when he comes, he will explain everything to us. And then Jesus told her, I am the Messiah. That's the truth. Christ has come to to set us free and to deliver us and to work in our lives. That's what all of our technology is leveraged for. That's what all of our gifts are leveraged for. That's what all of our skills are leveraged for, to tell the world and to show them the truth that Jesus is the Messiah. We had a reporter come to our church a while back and uh, he came in and, you know, Vegas is not necessarily the most pro-church environment. And so he's listening to me talk and he initially thought it was pretty cool. He thought, man, maybe this is a different version of Christianity. And he goes, you know, the music's really loud and rocking. And, and then the pastor walks out and he looks like, a, he said, I look like a roadie for Nickelback. <laughs> I'm not sure how to take that roadie from Nickelback, but he says, and so he's like, man, this is going to be a new version of Christianity. But he said, but the longer he talked, the more frustrated I became. And then he kept talking about the Bible and opening up the Bible and going back to the Bible. And he says, if, and this is how he ended his article. And he meant it as a slam. He says, if you want to know Judd Wilhite's perspective, see the Bible. Now, I got to tell you, I wanted to frame it. I mean, I've, not, I've, been, I've been slayed by some journalists and I've been, you know, I've had people take shots at me, but, but that right there was the best backhanded compliment I've ever received in my ministry. Listen, if they want to know our perspective, see the Bible. We're not trying to be creative. We're not trying to be cool. We're trying to tell the truth of God's word in a compelling way so that people can grasp it and be impacted by it. We're in the life-saving business.